Hello, this is Steve Nelson with the National Weather Service Atlanta with the weekly weather briefing for the week of Thursday, March 23rd, 2023. Here are the highlights for the forecast this week. Above normal temperatures are expected through Monday, with today through Saturday being quite warm. Severe storms are also possible on Saturday. Continued showers and thunderstorms are expected Sunday and Monday, and followed by some dry weather, we could see some freezing temperatures on Wednesday morning. Before we look at the forecast, let's review what's happened so far this spring. You might call the temperatures so far uh, this month of March, March Madness. We've had very warm temperatures that were actually earlier in late February, continuing to the first week of March with values 8 to 16 degrees above normal for quite a few days, followed by some normal temperatures with a little bit more rain and then cooler weather for much of middle March with temperatures averaging 6 to 17 degrees below average for the time of year, especially just this last weekend on Sunday. So if we project into the forecast for this week, we can actually see those warm temperatures today continuing to Friday and Saturday with values again near 15 degrees above normal, uh, maybe more in some locations than what we're showing here at, at Hartsfield. This will uh, moderate a little bit with especially warm temperatures at night, not so much during the daytime, Sunday and Monday, and then going into a little bit of below normal temperatures on Monday and Tuesday into Wednesday. So how do we answer those questions? Well, we have to look at the the current weather pattern using uh, lines of equal pressure aloft. This is about 18,000 feet, about halfway up the atmosphere, uh, 500 millibars, and we're looking at height anomalies, pressure anomalies. So you see the warmer colors, that's where temperatures and pressures are above normal. So over the eastern US, there's a ridge of high pressure with warmer temperatures in the mid and lower parts of the atmosphere. That's why we've got these warm temperatures going on. Out west, it's a different story. There are blue colors, and, and uh, over the western U.S., that's a tr associated with a trough of low pressure aloft. Did want to point out there's a little bit of upper wave energy moving down the, the northwest Pacific coast heading towards California. That's actually going to intensify the trough later on, as you'll see. So continuing for the forecast on Friday, you can see everything slide east, which is a progressive pattern. Uh, the trough of low pressure aloft to the west is shifting into the central U.S., and the warmer colors over the east shows high pressure shifting to the east. There is a wave energy, a wave of a short wave of energy over West Texas. We'll be looking at that as a catalyst for severe weather, possibly on Friday in the middle part of the country, possibly into the eastern U.S., including Georgia on Saturday. That wave of energy that was over Texas is lifted quickly into the Great Lakes on Saturday, uh, with broad west southwesterly flow over a lot of the southern states, including Georgia probably a stationary front somewhere in that vicinity hanging out. Uh, so the southeast is going to remain moist and unsettled even in this pattern. Maybe the north part of the state will be dry uh, for much of the day Saturday, but we'll look at what happens on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, see how uh, we still remain in west-southwesterly flow with the ridge of high pressure kind of over the southeast states and into the Atlantic. But out west, the blue and the purple color showing a low pressure loft remaining over the west. And on Monday, that west-southwesterly flow loft is still continuing, probably with a stationary front in the vicinity. That wave that was digging along the, there is another one kind of digging along the Pacific coast. And just keep in mind, as we get further and further out into the forecast, this is Monday, they get more uncertain with time. And jumping ahead to Wednesday, uh, that wave deepens over the western U.S., which uh, helps ridging, or high-pressure ridging, uh, redevelop over the eastern U.S., and where that ridge axis kind of sets up is to the west of Georgia, so we'll actually be in west-northwest flow in our particular area, which usually leads to drier weather. We may have a cool morning on Wednesday, but uh, during the daytime should be quite nice. So we did mention that severe weather was possible Saturday, so we'll spend a minute just to look at that. The forecast environment is, is expected to be favorable for strong to severe storms with uh, instability and some strong winds aloft. It's that time of year where we can get strong and severe thunderstorms. However, we could see a situation like we saw in early March, March 2nd or March 3rd, uh, when the upper level storm system forecast was similar to this one, where the wave energy was lifting well to the north of Georgia and um, warm air was developing in the mid levels in its place, which acted as a capping inversion, which could, could, and emphasize could, it could dissipate or weaken these thunderstorms if they were to develop. And that's kind of what this one particular model that we're looking on the left is showing. But there's many unknowns, so there's lots of time. We're going to keep monitoring this. If storms did form, they could produce large hail, damaging wind and tornadoes. And so remain alert and uh, keep monitoring the latest forecasts. This is the Storm Prediction Center current severe weather outlook for Saturday. It's calling for a marginal risk of severe thunderstorms.
Here's the forecast rainfall totals uh, for the whole period Saturday through Monday. If you remember, it wasn't just Saturday where we were expecting thunderstorms. We could see a, a period of extended period of rain Sunday and Monday as the stationary front lingers in the vicinity. So our, our one of our prediction centers is looking at this as forecasting rain up to three inches possible. And there in middle Georgia, that's the most likely area to see heavy rain if it were to happen. Uh, again, it's pretty far out in the forecast, so well, this may change time, but just wanted to let you know that's where we're thinking the heaviest rain could fall. Another way to look at that, because it's not a guarantee everyone's going to get two or three inches, is to look at a probability of any one area seeing greater than an inch. And actually, it's showing around 50 to maybe 60% at best over these this part of middle Georgia seeing at least an inch. So there's some uncertainty with that. Some areas uh, could see less, quite a bit less than what we're showing on the left. And finally, after some dry weather uh, later on late Monday night, Tuesday, and Wednesday, uh, even into Thursday, it appears, we'll have dry weather, but uh, some freezing temperatures may be possible with the really dry air and calm winds on Wednesday morning. And you may say, well, we're, I thought we were done with all these frost and freezes going on, but it's actually a little bit of what we talked about earlier about the very warm start to our spring uh, and warm temperatures in late February and March. If you actually look at the statistics there on the left, our average date of last freeze varies, but uh, it's generally this time of year in middle Georgia, March 1st to 15th, um, but that can be as late as March 22nd to April 10th. And in North Georgia, it's quite a bit later than what um, we're hoping for for the last freeze. Typically, it's between March 22nd and April 15th over North Georgia, but it can be as late as April 5th to 25th. And there's some images that kind of show county by county, basically over the last 30 years, what the what the last date of freezes can be on the left, it's sort of the expected or average date of last freeze, but the right image is more of a worst case or 10th percentile in this case of how late a freeze can be. And on the right, you're seeing the actual, at this time, um, probability of mem minimum temperatures below 32 expected for Wednesday morning. The gray colors are about 20% to 40% in those very light blue colors. So 20, 40% chance is what we're kind of looking for, for of uh, temperatures going below freezing up in those regions Wednesday morning. So to summarize, uh, above normal temperatures are expected through Monday, especially the next two or three days. Severe storms are possible Saturday, but if we're fortunate, you know, hopefully those storms will not be too widespread or too bad. Continued showers and thunderstorms are expected Sunday and Monday and in an unsettled weather pattern. We'll have to check and see later forecasts if we get anything strong out of that. Doesn't appear so at this time. And freezing temperatures are possible again on Wednesday morning. So that's it for the briefing. As always, you can contact us at all the different methods on the screen here. Hope you have a great week. Talk to you later.